in your depression from missing your kids or your depression that you're experiencing in life just in worry and worry I want to share this with you I mentioned this uh, this uh, fact on another video I can't recall the video but it was through a lot of other things that I was looking researching uh, Dr. Gab Gabber uh, one of my favorite favorite psychologists um, his, his books and his videos are just uh, just just a huge deeper insight on psychology Dr. Gabber stated in his um, years of profession and clinical practice that he had uh, seen a consistency with uh, two different um, types of modeled people and I want to share this with you don't leave please listen to this this is gonna be helpful for you if you have any kind of depression or worry in your life or stress from missing your children or going through a separation or divorce especially you men men please listen up and women too the finding that he had was mainly nurses and mothers and these this group of nurses and mothers their their consistency in the age group and in the lifestyle that they led they were typically mothers within a family dwelling where there was a husband and fa and children typically nurses that ha were career long time nurses that loved and appreciated their job these were the highest worriers and re which released chemicals in the certain areas of the body to re to release toxins that caused cancer these were the highest level of warriors and um, in other levels that are other um, categories were, were men and other and children and other things like that but these other categories were typically mirroring this highest area of category which was the nurses and mothers only in trauma field based or high depression based um, situations when you're going through a divorce and you're missing your kids and you're being told that you can't see your children or your family or you have to get out and suddenly you're homeless and hungry and I've been there guys if you've been following me for a long time I've been there and I'm still struggling and it, it, I shouldn't be struggling this long but this is the way the system has you I have it's just it's it's intense sometimes financially if you allow this financial worry to transform and, and lay the seeds of all this worriness deeper deeper rooted within you this worriness will eventually um, create toxins that can hurt us now guys what I want to share with you is this worry that we constantly re-invite re into our uh, into our mind daily because you, I'm sure you, the love for your children and your family and your, your past life was, is, is daily upon you. But I, I encourage you to invite and transform the invitation of this worry into consist, consistent love and light for everything that you love in your life, for the children that you love in your life, for for the beautiful memories and moments that you've had and created and shared with your children. I in, I invite you for this transformation to start and to begin. And it's this transformation that you must continue to practice and train your mind and train your psyche to, to think of this every day. Invite thoughts of beautiful memories and love and feeling into your heart rather than worry and chaos and the stress of reliving the trauma that others created in your life you don't need to own those and so I invite you to to create a new transformation a new journey and practice it now turn the phone off now and think of those beautiful moments when you kissed your children and hugged them and kissed them and loved them and think of the the times that you are with them or that you you did have you did make memories with them it could be millions and millions of days, uh, you know, I mean, thousands of days uh, apart, um, myself included, I've been there before. I'm going through a huge financial um, drought myself, and it's hard, it's, it costs thousands of dollars just to hug my daughter. 
and it, and it, and it can, it, I relapse back into my depression as well too. So I, I want you, I want to share this with you because we, that's the only way you can transform that illness of, of pain and stress and depression in your mind and in your body is to reinvite love and light back into your mind, into your thoughts, into your memory. As I'm going through my own situation, I try to push out words of positivity and, and motivation to, to fill love and light again in your life and to refill that. I, I'm telling you what, what ha helps to heal me. And it's all in your thoughts. You create a new way of thinking and a new way of feeling for the love and the memories that you've created and for yourself, which will enlighten a brighter path for your future. I love you guys. Take care. If you ever feel like um, uh, donating or if any of my videos uh, help you, I do have a PayPal and Venmo down in the description below. Thank you. Um, I love you guys all very much. Take care. Bye-bye.